So I am going across the street. <laughs> I'm actually catching another bus and I'm going to the area of town that I grew up in from the time I was born until I was around seven years old. And I'm going there for a specific reason, but after that, I want to actually take you on a tour of the neighborhood that I used to, you know, the neighborhood that I grew up in, just to show you around and tell you some embarrassing stories about my childhood. You know, just the usual stuff. Okay, so I'm done what I had to do, which was fun. Um, don't really want to go into that, but you know, just had fun hanging out with some friends. And... Anyway, I am in my old neighborhood in front of the first school I ever went to. You probably want to see it, don't you? <laughs> That's why I brought you here. Ah, okay, hang on. Okay, so this is the school that I went to um, for kindergarten right up until grade three, I believe. Middle of grade three. Spring break, I believe it was, uh, when I moved to a different area. But yeah, Ecole Diep, which is French for Dieppe School. Uh, I remember this part of it, but there's, right over there, there's a big add-on to the school that, uh, that I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. This is the school I went to. Ah, the wind's starting to pick up. Ah, I don't know. It was nice. I actually thought about bringing my drone, but... Eh. Now I see that I probably wouldn't have been able to. Wouldn't have been able to fly it in this wind. Um, but anyway, uh, there's a little story from when I was a kid. Uh, I was walking down here, uh, school's back there, right, I was walking this way, I was going home from school with a couple of my friends, and, um, we went up this way, turned the corner, and see here, see here, there, there's ditches on the side of the road, right? <clears throat> When I get up further, I'll continue this story, okay? Just hang on a second. I gotta get to that point. Okay, so it was this ditch right here. Uh, we were walking up the road and my friends dared me, right? This was in the, in the winter time. They dared me to walk on the ice and I fell in and that house right there, a girl came out, uh, pulled me out of the ditch, took me inside. Um, yeah. She took me inside, stripped me down, well, her mother, <laughs> not her, uh, her mother stripped me down and threw my clothes in their dryer and called my mother to come and pick me up. So, I wonder if they still live there or not. Who knows? I'm not going to go knocking on the door to find out. Uh. Oh, there's a dog. 
<laughs> Hi. Wow. Um, but yeah, so that was the bitch story. That, that I'll never forget. That was just an experience. That was like my first near, like, well, besides my, besides my heart surgery. That was my first near-death experience uh, that I can remember. I, I can't remember the heart surgery because I was only one. But, yeah, that was scary for me. Like, being in that ditch, I felt like I was going to drown. Uh, luckily, I got pulled out and rescued. <laughs> and then everything was fine. <sighs> but, anyway, I am going to try to make my way to the house that I used to live in and another little story <laughs> before I go back home to where I live now obviously <laughs> okay that path right there that I just walked through was the path that we used to take to go to school now, there's a community center right across the street here, right, so right here, and there's a pool. Now, this pool right here, uh, the sun's right there, so it's hard to see, but this pool, when I was a kid, right, of course, it's like right there <laughs> not that high but when I was a kid this was like really high to me and uh, my friends and I climbed this fence went into the pool when it was closed like it is now and we were playing around in there and when I got in right after climbing the fence right there uh, with these on the top there I slid up right between my fingers and I got into the pool and I noticed all the blood coming off off of my hands and uh, one of my friends went running back to my house which was down the street and got my mother to come and grab me by my wrists and pull me over the fence uh, just so that I could get out of there. I must have been about six or seven at the time. I don't know. It was, I, was, I was young and stupid. <laughs> I still am. Uh, for the most part, anyway. Uh, the stupid part. <laughs> I don't know about the young part anymore, but I try to be as young as I can. Ah, now to find, <gasps> there's the house I grew up in. It's right there. Here. It's right there. That, that white house right there. It's where I used to, where I used to live. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. It still looks the same. Kind of. Yeah. And then down this street here, all the way at the end, um, my best friend Russell used to live there. And that house, right at the end of the street, but this house is crazy. It still looks the same. Uh, and uh, one of those top windows there on the side, I used to throw my toys out into the driveway when I was a kid. And that garage my father built, pretty sure it's the same one. Not sure though. Uh, and then this house is where my first girlfriend lived. 
I'm still friends with her on Facebook, believe it or not. Uh, but yeah, so that is somewhat, somewhat of a little tour of the area that I used to live in. You know, I grew up in uh, first seven years of my life. Yeah, because it was right after my seventh birthday. Um, right after we came back from Disneyland, we moved to a different area. Now, I might do this as a series. <sighs> yeah, I might. I might, you know, like every once, like, uh, whenever I can, I'll go, uh, I'll go to the next place that, that I lived. And then maybe just continue that here and there uh, whenever I uh, find the time and maybe uh, make a playlist of it and then you can, you can see all the places that I lived in uh, some of them aren't that great but uh, the memorable ones of, uh, at least I'll put in there and I'll I'll do vlogs in the different areas that I lived in. Ooh, got bright. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think uh, I think that's it for now. I might be back. I don't know. All depends on what else I find around here. 